kind of flying we're going to do today actually isn't required by the FAA. It may not be very useful because it would be a low altitude. We're not doing any aerobatics, so it's not required. But it's nice to have anyway. In case we have any control, we want to preclude our safely landing. We may go to a higher altitude and have to go to our micro systems. However, very good. I don't need the video, but I'd love the audio of you bailing out. <laughs> I bet I can tell you what it's going to sound like. <laughs> Not much. It's going to sound very... The most important thing about using a parachute... Looking at That is important. <laughs> and I'm leading right up to that. If you don't look at the handle, you're not likely to find it because it's a foreign environment. Uh, very unexpected, and it's equipment that you're not familiar with. So it's very likely that you'll end up pulling on your chest strap, it's like you're pulling on your t-shirt, uh, speed, uh, flapping material. So it's very important that you look at your ripcord, which is located on your uh, left breast. It's designed to be pulled with either hand, either with your right hand or your left hand. And again, it's very important that you look at it, and keep looking at it until you get it. Commands will be uh, bailout, bailout, bailout. I'll show you how to open up the canopy. It's a single latch that you release your lap belt and your harness belt. Stand up on the seat, just go right over the side. Look at your grip point, and pull it. Go into an arch if you can. Keep it nice and stable. Shoot will open. You'll have two risers right here. It's a 24 foot diameter, what they call a flat circular canopy. On the back risers, you'll see something called toggles. They're either red or they're yellow. Reach inside, grab those, and you can pull it. One or the other, the parachute will turn and fly in that direction at a speed of about eight miles an hour. So if you see an obstacle that you'd rather not land in, or you see a nice pool bar you'd rather be close to once you land, I like that. Turn and face, and you'll be there. Feet and knees together. Keep your elbows in. Look straight ahead. Don't judge the landing because you're likely to misjudge it. And if you straighten out a little bit, you may hurt your leg or your ankle or your feet. So look straight ahead on the horizon. Roll, land, pull in the uh, canopy if it starts to pull you away, just grab a set of lines, pull those in, the canopy will spill all the air that's still in it, it'll collapse, it won't drag you, and then you'll disconnect. The way you disconnect, these are uh, quick release straps, pull it out like that, and it all disconnects. Any questions on the parish? Nope. Plus it just looks cool, that's why we really do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that logic instead of actually using it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get you hopped in. I can hand you your camera once I get you set up. All right, Dave, here, take this. I need you to sign a release for you to get in. Uh, did you tell me how, tell you how many jumps he has? Have you ever had to sign a release tell you how you get here? Jump up here, put your hand here to help pull you up if you like. There you go. Right. There's a stand there, you can put your right foot on that, stand right on the seat. There you go. Put your feet out there in the runners, or should I? Helmet on, keep the mouthpiece close to your mouth, and when you need to talk to me, Dave, and I will be getting a radio check with you. Okay. If you need to talk to me, this little black button right here. Just press that when ICS. you need to talk. Okay. That's the ICS. Very good. Be 
sure your chin strap is strapped so it doesn't come off. You're going to get a lot of wind back here with this canopy open and it's going to feel like somebody's pushing you. So if you don't like the back blast, all you got to do is pop this and take the handle, move it back into this first detinker, you'll still get some fresh air and it won't get so much blowback. Okay? Tighten this down so it just doesn't go anywhere. And you're all set. Okay, very close to your mouth and the visor down if you want the visor down. I think it's good. You're good. Okay. Let's get that thumbs up. There you go. So is there anywhere to plug this in? Um, I'm not sure how it's designed to be configured. Uh, 